The Digital Asset Standard API is a critical tool in the world of blockchain. It serves as a bridge between developers and the vast ecosystem of tokens, NFTs, and compressed NFTs on the Solana blockchain. Stay until the end to master this cornerstone of the Solana ecosystem, facilitating seamless interaction with digital assets and fostering the growth and development of your dApps. The DAS API is an open source system that provides a unified interface for interacting with digital assets like tokens and NFTs. It's a game changer for developers working on the Solana blockchain as it simplifies many common tasks. Let's dive into the methods offered by the DAS API. First up, we have get assets. This method is your go-to method for fetching metadata relating to your NFTs, whether they're compressed or standard. What's even more impressive is that Helios enhances this process with a content delivery network, making it the fastest way to retrieve any asset on the Solana blockchain. Next, we have get signatures for asset. This method is your key to obtaining transaction signatures for a specific asset, particularly designed for compressed assets. Then there's search asset. This method is your search engine for assets based on custom criteria. Its ability to define both compressed or standard NFTs lets you customize your search to your specific needs. The get asset proof method is essential when dealing with transactions involving compressed asset. It provides the proof and tree ID, which are crucial for successfully transferring a compressed NFT. Want to fetch all NFTs owned by a specific address? Use get assets by owner. It's the quickest method to retrieve all NFTs, both compressed and standard, from a wallet. Need to fetch asset information for a specific group or collection? Use get assets by group. It's ideal for retrieving mint lists for NFT collection. Just remember to provide a collection ID. Now let's see these API methods in action. We'll explore three real world applications of the DAS API. Building a token gated site, creating a compression tool, and designing a robust NFT search engine. First up, the token gated site. Imagine you're building a platform that only allows users with certain tokens or NFTs to access your content. The get asset by owner method is perfect for this. With just a few lines of code, you can get all the assets owned by a specific address. In conjunction with this, we will need to get all the assets that belong to a collection so that we can see if any of the assets in the wallet are valid. To do this, we have a few options. To view assets by group or collection ID, the get asset by group is useful. In this code, we will get all the NFTs from the Solana Monkey Business Gen 2 collection with the following collection ID. If you wanna fetch the assets created by a specific creator, get assets by creator, is your go-to method. The Teo Robotics project uses the same creator address for all their collection, so we'll use this to get all the NFTs under their brand. Get assets by authority can be used when you need to find all the assets under a specific authority. Here's an example of getting all the NFTs that this wallet has authority over. With the assets in hand, you can easily get more detailed information about a specific asset with the get asset method. This can be useful to further gate the website to only NFTs with a specific attribute. Secondly, let's move on to compression tools. When dealing with compressed assets, you need to make use of the get asset proof method. This method provides the proof and tree ID which need to happen for any transfers of compressed NFTs. In this example, we will look at the proof for this drip NFT. For transaction signatures of a specific asset, use get signatures for asset. Here's an example of us fetching the signatures for our drip NFT. Finally, let's look at a scenario where you're designing an NFT search engine. For this, the search asset method will be useful. It can return assets based on custom search criteria, letting you construct complex searches, such as finding all the frozen NFTs in a specific wallet. For this example, we'll look at this wallet, which contains frozen Solana Monkey business NFTs from a wallet drain hack. And that's a quick tour of the DAS API. It's a powerful tool for anyone working with digital assets on the Solana blockchain. For more details, check out the Helios documentation at helios.dev.